Good evening, and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. How is everybody tonight? Hope you're all well. Hope you're having a good week. Good evening to Mystical Unicorn Painting. How are you? Thank you for joining us tonight. So, we have another live game on the channel, and what are we playing tonight? We are playing a game of Marrakesh from Gigameek. Uh, this is a game that has been around in various forms for quite some time, and it is a winner of five international tabletop gaming awards. Uh, it's a very, very easy game for me to teach you guys how to play. And so I'm hoping that somebody in the chat will care to uh, control the third player, as Augie will be joining us soon uh, live on the chat. But let's uh, give you the introduction before we get started. Watch where you put your feet. The bazaar is bustling. It's the big day at the rug market. The best merchant will soon be named. Each player is a merchant who tries to outwit the others. In turn, they roll the die and then move Assam, the market organizer. If Assam stops on an opponent's rug, the player must make a payment to the owner before putting one of their own rugs on an adjoining space. When the last rug has been laid, the total number of visible rugs and the number of coins owned by each player are added together. The best player wins. So there we go. It's a nice, simple, easy overview. And when we go to the table, I will show you just how easy this game is. So, Augie, you're all set and ready. Let's, uh, let's bring you on in then. Good evening, Augie. Good evening, Monkey. Good evening, chat. How are you well, doing? Chat. How, are you, how are you doing? Are you good? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. Um, good? I was just a bit distracted because there's very, very dark clouds outside, but the sun's still shining. Oh well, this well, this game requires sun shining, doesn't it? So let's let's hope that oh, that remains. Yes. Okay, let's go to the table, and uh, I can show you all about it. Okay, so here we go. As I say, this game has been released. I think it's over ten years old, uh, Marrakesh as a game, and during that time, it's had uh, several revisions as far as the aesthetics, brand new boxes. Uh, brand new art design on the board. But its simple uh, gameplay is, has sort of stayed throughout because it's just so, so easy to explain, so, so easy to play, and then it's a real good challenge <laughs> when you're doing so. And it's, it's stood the test of time, and as I say, it's won uh, five international awards. So... Let me explain what we're going to do. So this is Assam, the market organizer, and we place him in the center of the board. And ultimately, we all have, and this, I've set the game up for three players, so it's gonna be myself, it's gonna be you, Augie, and it's going to be the chat. So chat, be prepared to uh, contribute your suggestions uh, as we play. So what's gonna happen is we're going to roll this die. And let's just give an example here. And there we go. It says that we can go two spaces. Now, Assam always walks in the direction that he is pointing. Uh, because you have a top-down view, you can see he's slightly curved. So that is his back, where he is flat at the front. So at the moment, he's facing in this direction. So what would happen is he would move two, one, two and where he stops you then have the option of placing well sorry you must you must place a rug so i'm going to be the red player and i will grab one of my lovely textile rugs here now basically you can place your rug anywhere 
around Assam in any direction so long as it's orthogonal and it is touching him. So there's one placement. Here's another. There's another. There's another. But it could be like so, or it could be like that. Uh, obviously, it could not be like that because that is off the board. But again, even just looking at this position here, it could be that way or it could be that way. So there is a multitude. And it can't be under him, right? And it cannot be under him, no. Okay. okay. So there is a multitude. Now, let me just see if I can show because this is probably a good example. Uh, you can see the little graphic here. There, well, he's in the center there. There's all the possible placements of where a rug can be. Okay. That gives you an idea. And this is what, what's great. These instructions, that is it. <laughs> this is the game. <laughs> now, because I'm, the, as the first player, um, and I think on the first player, I think you can still turn his direction. I'm pretty sure you can. Because at the beginning of the go, you can make a decision as to what, to move Assam uh, 90 degrees. So you could move him to the left, or you could move him to the right, or you could keep him facing forward. The one thing you can't do is move 180 and turn all the way around. Okay? So... You know, as the starting player, I guess it doesn't really matter too much in what direction he goes. You could have him just coming straight down. It is then for the next player to determine how they want to do it. So let's say, for example, it's now your turn. And I have placed my rug down just there. It's now your turn. You can move him 90 degrees. So which way do you want to face? Do you want to face left or right or... Do you want to go straight on? Now, you might have noticed these wonderful little archways. And what happens with these is as you go into them, so that would be one space, and then this would be two spaces, and it would move you around, now facing back the way you came. And that's how Asan will con constantly be moving around the board and not get blocked by any of the walls or any of the corners. Okay, so let's just... Uh, Let's just have a bit of a test here. How do you how do you want to uh, proceed? Do you want to go straight on? Or do you want to turn to the left or the right? Go left. Left. Okay. You go left, and then we roll the dice for you, and you go to you go three. So one, two, three. So now you have the option. Of placing down one of your rugs. So do you want to tell me where you would like to place your rug? Uh, yeah, I would like to place it so behind him. Behind, yeah. And uh, so on the square behind him, and then vertically upwards. Yes. Touching yours. Like that, or one down. Do I have to be purple? Uh, this ye oh, this ye yellow, if if you would like a different colour. Yes, please, yellow, thank you. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's do that quickly. One square down, please. One square down, all right. Yes. We have a nice little box here to put all the rugs in. See, if I can be picky, I will be picky. Oh, absolutely. Well, you, you we haven't started, so you, you get the choice. <laughs> I don't like the colour purple, guys. Okay, so one square down, there's a yellow rug. Okay, so it would now be my, my turn. Let's imagine this, we're not doing the three players. So so I have the choice, sorry, I have the choice before, before I start of turning. So I could turn like so. I've rolled three, one, two, three, and I could put my rug down. I want to get to... Let's, ima let's imagine instead that I have come to here. Okay. So I can place a rug down. I could place a rug in front of me here or to the side. What I could do is I could place the rug behind me like so. Now there's one rule to the game. You cannot place a rug 
so that it fully covers an opponent's rug. You can only allow it to cover just one square. So each rug is effectively a, a one by two, isn't it? So you can cover just one section. If in later turns I was successful enough to maybe put a rug here, then that is fine. I have covered up completely your rug, but I've done it in two separate placements, and that's totally legal. Now... Let's say, for example, and we're going to just move things around here a little bit. Let's say they were like so. And let's say you unfortunately ended up standing on my rug during your turn. So, yes, you would afterwards be able to place a rug. Maybe you would place a rug like that. Or maybe you would place a rug like so. But before you're able to do that, you have to basically pay a fee for standing on my rugs. And the fee basically is how many rug spaces are connected. So in this instance, there's four rugs. You would pay me four coins from your supply. You start off with 30. And then, as I say, you could come on in and after you've paid, you could place that down. And so you've now lessened the amount of rug that is showing for me. And you've now created a nice area there where if I was to stand on here, then that would be a charge of three coins that I would have to pay you. Yeah, okay. And that is the game. There's not much more to actually explain. In fact, actually, there is nothing more to explain. Ultimately, we will get to the end when people will get knocked out when they have no money left. They are then out of the game. And it will be the person who has the most coins and the most colour of their rug showing across the entire board. All right? That will, will determine the winner. Lost Door, good evening. Is it possible to cover one square from both rugs? Uh, yes. Is that yes. What you've done? Be be yes, because so long as you're only covering one from one rug and one from the other, that is fine. It's you cannot place a rug in its entirety on another rug. Let me just double check though to make sure. Let's check the very basic rules. It, it, well, this is it, yes. They are so, so simple. So, an opponent's rug cannot be entirely covered in one go. It can only be covered completely by two rugs. Yep, so that actually does, that does not break the rule because this rug is not being covered in one go, nor is this rug. It is going onto two separate sections. So that is totally fine. Right, I think we're good and ready to go here. Uh, so, chat. Is there anybody in chat who wants to play, or are you all going to work together, chat, and, and offer suggestions? Chat, you will be the, uh, the teal-coloured rug. I am going to be red. Augie is going to be yellow. Oh, you lost all your bought destinies uh, with Sea of Time. Excellent. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, see, so yeah, Sea of Sand. Yes, indeed. Yes. Oh, excellent. I, th I think you saw us play that game on the channel, so I'm delighted to hear that you've gone out and uh, got yourself a copy. Right. Do you want to play along, Lostor? Okay, Roger is there as well. Rogue saying we can all make make suggestions. Excellent. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right then. So let's get started. I will go first. I think just we'll get things going. So roll the die. We go three. One, two, three. I'm going to place a rug directly behind me. All right. There you go. First turn done. So, Augie, 
you have a choice of moving 90 degrees, as, as we explained before. You can either turn left, you can turn right, or you can stay facing on, which means that you would go into this arch and you would come out facing upwards along this pathway. Yeah, I will um, stay where I'm at. Stay where you're at, In okay. And we'll roll the die then for you. And that is a one, so that okay. is one. Okay, how would you like to place your rug? Would you like me to show you some examples? No, no, it's fine. Um, horizontal right? Yes. to the left. Horizontal to the left, so covering over my piece right no. in front. Is no, that correct? To the left. Or, or to the left from from him, not not in front of him. From him, yeah, yeah, from him. Sorry, sorry. Okay, that's the thing. There's, there's so many different options. So, yes, lots of description. Okay, chat. So it's the start of your turn. Do you want to turn Assam left, turn him right, or have him walk straight on? That's the first choice. Rogue is saying straight, okay. We'll go with the first suggestion. We'll roll the die. It is three. One, two, three. Okay, so now, where do you want to place your rug? So just in case you didn't catch it, you can place your rug orthogonal to Assam in any orientation. Lots of different varieties. You can do them vertical as well. So long as it is touching him, you just cannot place them diagonal. Left two. So are we saying like so? We're inventing a language. <laughs> <laughs> left two. Um, left horizontal. I think, yes, yes, you're going to have to, yes, give a little bit more. So, yes, that would be left horizontal. Let's, let's, let's go with that. Because <laughs> there's about eight different variations of where it potentially could go. Okay. Uh, you could have covered monkey square as well, if you want. Yes, to. yes, exactly. Well, this is it. So, I am going to... I'm going to continue going straight up. Oh. So that's a roll of three. One, two, three. And I will place... I'm going to place my rug behind me. Okay, Augie, over to you. I will turn to the left. Turn to the left. We roll a die. Yes. You're going two. One, two. And I will put my, um, my, like, like, the same as yours, and they're, like, continuing on. <laughs> Do you mean it's behind you and vertical? No, it's horizontal, and oh. it is prolonging your rug. Oh, right, okay. You mean, like, so. Yes. Okay. Uh, to answer Lost Door's question, no, they are not paper. They are materials. Um, how to describe it? It's a little bit like a, a reinforced um, sort of... Uh, oh, what's the word? Not like velvety... Um, I can't think of the, of the word. Um, you, know, you know the sort of material... Like the, the thing you had... In a kid's game, it's not soft, it's not rough, it's yes. in between. Yes, exactly. And and it's nicely printed, I think, onto the actual materials. Felt, felt. There we go. Thank you, Baron. Yes, that's exactly the word I was looking for. They are nice, it's nice felt, felt. felt. It's all felt, yeah. Yes, they are felt. Um, okay, so over to chat. 
Chat, what direction do you want Assam to be facing in before we roll the die? And welcome, Baron. Thank you for joining us. You want him yeah. facing downwards? Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm going by the first direction we get from the chat. <laughs> okay, let's hope you're lucky. Here we go. They might be... <laughs> Let's, actually, it's, if it's a one, then Augie's lucky, but anything else might be okay. It's a two. So, Aww. one, two. Okay, so the chat, where do you want to place your lovely teal felt rug? <laughs> Just so, Baron, I don't know if you heard the, instru uh, the, the rules as we explained. Basically, it can be orthogonal to Assam. It cannot completely cover. So now you're going to explain the rules to him. So, and he chose the other... He chose the direction. So L Lostor is saying to right. It's not... That's not an instruction. <laughs> it's, it's not... <laughs> um... Well, we're on the right here, so are you saying you, you want to... You say either to... horizontal, vertical... Or, or, or vertical, yeah. At least we know the right part. <laughs> so, at the moment, because I've got it here. We can overlap, so... It, your description is very hard to follow. Horizontal, L yes. That's horizontal. Now, to the right. Okay, so you are saying horizontal. Remember... Augie did point out that the idea is to overlap the rugs so that you have greatest share. So remember that. But hey, that's where you've decided to go. So let's place it there. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to turn towards the left and let's roll a die. Oh, it's a three. So, one, two, three. And... And it, just so chat so that you can sort of see how it works. There you go. I'm placing my rug over yours. All right. Uh, yeah, but what, what does the two mean, Lostar? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Oh, okay, you, yeah. You're okay. putting right. You're, you're putting uh, the column. Okay, fair enough. We'll we'll work it out. Come on, we we've, we've oh, done so, we've done, two. We've done fine with working f things out <laughs> before harder than this. Okay, Augie, Augie, two over, over to you. It's always two spaces. Over to you. Where uh, do you okay. want to go? Down. Are you looking down? Okay. Yep. Roll die. Uh, going by three. One, two, three. So, where are you placing your rug? I will put my rug in a vertical position <laughs> in the second column, all the way on the bottom. So, in a vertical position, in the second column, from the bottom. Something like that, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Chat! <laughs> where do you want to move... Assam, now, okay, you've got an interesting one here. You can move him right, and these go round like so. Or you can move, leave him where he is, and he would go round like so. Or you could move him like that, and well. I think, uh, I think the maximum movement for him is three. Oh, no, there is a four. There is a four. Okay. So you're saying... So... I don't think... They're to be turned. Um, so you, you, talk, you mean to left so that he would go round right. and, and go be facing upwards once he finishes? You can also just point him upwards. 
I, I just want to make sure. Yes, okay. So he's going to come round, and there we go. He is looking upwards. All right, let's see what we get on the roll. No, no, no. You, uh, no, you th you throw while... F in no, no monkey. What, what, what? You throw while still facing. He doesn't turn right now. He turns if you say one oh. step, then he does the turn. Yes. And so, that's the turn. Yes, sorry. So basically he did one step. There you go. He's done, isn't he? Yeah, he's done. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, sorry. I, jumped, I got ahead of myself a little bit, didn't I? Yeah, um, you got ahead of yourself. Okay, the die has a one, it has a two, it has a three and a four. Uh, there are a couple of threes, a couple of twos. So those are the values. Okay, so you can place a rug down. Uh, where would you horizontal like... Horizontal the right. It's to the right. Horizontal. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a flat. It's right. got, it, it, yes, it's, it's got to be, hasn't it? So... Because you cannot cover a rug in its entirety. Uh, I'm going to continue just going upwards. I think that's fine. I think that's a good idea, yeah. I'm going by one. And oh, goodness. Uh, I'm going to cover gonna me up. Now I'm going to place my rug just there. Okay. Augie, over Why to there? you. there? Okay. I'm gonna go straight on. Straight on. Okay, you're hoping. So here we go. I think we might we, we might have a situation where some coins start to change hands. Here we go. Let's find out. It's your dice oh! roll. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. One. You you really really really? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm going to get my dice tray. Hang on a second. Actually, yeah, that was a, that was a bit unfair. Hang on, hang on. It's well, unfair. I mean, monkey dice can't be unfair. Just no, do no, the good. one step and take my coins. No, no, because I didn't give it a, a true roll. Even I know that I didn't do a true roll there, so... Oh, goodness. You can't control a dice. You can, you can. So uh, we've got, pl we got, we got plenty of space. Wouldn't. So here we go, here we go. It's just what I, I was being careful not to try and uh, roll it all over the rugs and knock them out of place, but just needed a dice tray. So here we go. Three. There we go. Better. One, two, three. Okay. Goodness. Uh, where would you like to put your rug? Um. Well. Mm. Ooh, some some good, just good take in the choices two here. Empty spaces to my right. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Some good choices. Does look like an, a nice decision. They do. All right, there you go. Uh, over to chat. Do you want to go left, go right, or straight on? Roll straight, says Lostor. Okay. Rolling the dice. Whoa, we got the four. One, two, three, four. Oh, so lucky. Where would you like your rug to go? Hey, I just remembered I bought some dates for us to play. Yes, the you should have you should be, game. You should have your dates up. Cover yellow both. Yes, I think that's probably a good Oh, no! Good decision there, absolutely. Why, are, why is chat screwing me over, Royally? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ah, where do I want to go? What have I done wrong, chat? I'm going to go straight on and hope that the, uh, the dice favour me. So here we go. Three! Ooh. Right One, two, three. Okay, that's all right. Oh, goodness. I am going to place... I'm going to place mine over two separate rugs, like so. <laughs> all right. fill in all area to connect all of them? Uh, I, well, ultimately, I can do, right? But the thing is, I... You, well, I could, 
Ooh, that's good. I, but I wanted to sort of minimize uh, to my two opponents your your value in the marketplace. But hey, let let's see how it goes. So, Augie, you can uh, move your direction. Which which way do you want to face? Which way do you want to face? He asked. Up. Oh no, I can't turn up. No. So you no. can. Have... Okay. Left, right, uh, or, or straight on? Well, right then. Right, okay. So turning to the right, rolling the die. Oh, you get a four. One, yes! two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent. Good evening, Amberdurn. Where are you placing your rug, Orgy? Uh, uh, am I rug? Um. Ah, oh, honestly. Um, behind me? Yes. Um, uh, horizontal? Yes. Covering your square? Yes, okay. Who wants some dates, guys? Done. Uh, I mean, okay. The, the savory, the, 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 the sweet kind, not the going out kind. <laughs> uh, chat, Baron is saying face down, all right. Facing down. And roll the dice. It's a one. There you go. Where do you want your rug, chat? To cover red. Okay. We're gonna go with we're gonna go with Lost Door being the first one there. Okay, and ooh, I'm going to turn to the right. Let's roll the die. Two, one, two. I'm going I think to play. Might want to play with like one person in chat because I I don't think you can really build up some tactics if you're playing with five people at the same time. We're just going to go with. Uh, Whoever's the first person to uh, put forward. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, Augie, which direction yes. are you going in now? I'm just putting my dates aside. <laughs> it, oh. it, it, it is fun, Lost Door, it is. <laughs> you, you're not doing too badly, though. You, you've, you've got quite a bit of dominance on the board, so you're doing good. Okay. I'm going to face up. You're going to face up? Okay. We still haven't got to the point where any money has traded hands, but I feel that's coming real soon. Yeah, I don't uh, want to be the first one, so I'm going to face up. That's a, that's a one. So... Where do you want to place your rug? Um, covering the red and the blue. Covering red and blue? Okay. Yeah, good idea. Oh no, Baron. Just keep going. Find that way. Yeah, absolutely. You, you, you guys are being the the crazy random element that nobody can quite <laughs> plan for. <laughs> okay, guys, you want to go straight okay. on or or turn? Three, two, one. Who's gonna be the first one? Who's gonna be the first to type on in? No, oh, you, you got you, just you got roll. To, okay. Just roll. So that, is that straight on then? Okay. Yeah. That's a straight on. If there's no direction, it's straight on. One, two, three. Okay. Where do you want your rug? Ooh, interesting. Remember, we can really get some dominance here. Yeah, yeah. Remember, it's a case of who's got the most money and who's got the most rugs showing at the end. Cover red across the front. Okay. Very good. Ah. Uh... 
I'm going to go straight on and hope the dice is good. It is! One, two. I am going to place my rug. <laughs> I want coins. And I think that's that's a safe of, of better getting some coins possibly. Okay, Augie. <laughs> so which direction do you want to face in? Oh come on. <laughs> Um, I'm going to face right. You're going to face right? Okay. All right, here we go. Ooh, a one. <gasps> what one? That is so, so lucky. <laughs> okay. Where do you want to place your rug? I would like to cover uh, the red and the blue space next to my yellow space. Uh, you can only do it next to Assam, so you can cover two. It is next to Assam. Yeah, so it would just be there, wouldn't it? No, 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 horizontal. You can't do do that. Yes. No, yes, because... I can. No, 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 hang on. Let's just take that up. Assam is still in, in the corner there. If you're referring to... That's the only... You can, you've got to still be con touching Assam on an orthogonal. So there's only actually two... There's two vertical positions you can put. Okay. Uh, you can't... And, and, actually, and actually, that is uh, that is it. Because the other way, you can't put it fully covering blue. And you can't put it fully covering red. So in fact... Red and blue is probably the best option for you, just there. Do you agree? Actually, wait, one second. Uh, no, I would like to cover the blue one and the empty. Okay. So, yeah, blue and... Uh, there we go. Okay. Ah... Uh, so lost or you're saying roll so you 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 you're not changing direction you you you're going straight ahead then yes just to be sure yes all right straight ahead it is here we go at 3 one, oh, two, on. three. It's, it's all getting so close. Okay. Where is the rug going? Yellow and empty up. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> <laughs> Chat, you're doing so good. Um, I'm going to chance it. I'm going to turn left and hope that the dice is in my favor. It's either four or less. Yeah, exactly. Ten. Here we go. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Oh. So I gotta pay I gotta pay some money to the chat. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. There you go, chat. Enjoy those coins. That's gonna be so funny if chat wins. <laughs> okay, but what I'm going to do, I'm gonna break up. I'm taking one for the team here. I am breaking up chat's monopoly there. Uh, we will not allow them to uh, score so many points next time. Okay, Augie. Which direction are you going in? Oh, goodness. Uh, Lost Door, you start Down. with 30 coins. Down. 
Down. Down? You're going to face down. Okay. Down it is. There we go. It's, it's one in four, chat. Yeah, well, here we go. One. So that's good. You yes. stand on your own rug. Where... Another cover blue and empty thing. Blue and empty in, in front of you. Yeah? Yes, please. Okay. Done. Uh, straight back over to chat. What direction would you like to face him? Uh, there's a lot of right being said there, so turning right. There we go. And it is two. One, two. Hello, Sarah. You're lurking as you unpack your kitchen. I hope it's going well. Uh, okay, chat. Where do you want to put your rug? Cover two yellows. So you're talking about right behind you. Okay. See now now that the board is 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 fuller, it's uh easier to work out where things need to go. I'm gonna go straight on. Let's see what we get. Two. One two. And I'm gonna place my red. Just there. Uh, over to you, Augie. Down. You're going to face down? Okay. Oh, one. Where would you like your rug? Um, to my left. Uh, covering the blue and the empty. Okay. Done. Uh, okay, chat. How would you like to turn Assam? Just roll. So we're going to go straight ahead. And you're doing four. One, two... Three, four. Oh! So, chat, you have to pay Augie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, easy come, easy go. <laughs> so, Augie, you get seven of my eight coins. <laughs> okay. My turn. I'm going to go straight ahead. I think that's safe. Let's go with straight ahead. Four. Ooh. One, two, three, four. No! <laughs> but thankfully, it's only one space, so one coin goes to chat. And I will place my rug just there. Is it worth the one coin that I spent? Who knows? We'll find out. Augie, it's uh, it's up to you. How would you want to move Assam? Oh, goodness. Oh, so, oh, hang on a second. Sorry, hang on. Let's just dial this back. One, two, three, four. Yes, it's okay. Sorry, lost door. Yeah. So, it was in front, wasn't it? So, there you go. There you go. See, I caught it. I caught it. So, back to here. That should be all correct. Do you guys want to just make sure? Yes, we're getting a thumbs up. Excellent. Good, good, good. I was getting too excited. <laughs> Okay, so back over to Augie. 
Uh, which direction do you want to be facing? Um, oh, let's take left. You're going to go left? Okay. Yeah, I'm in the Red Sea right now. So. <laughs> uh, it is two. That's very lucky. One, two. There you go. You're on your own rug. Uh, so, where would you like to place a new one? Um, underneath. Making my yellow island a bit bitter. Big, big, big. You mean over these bigger. over these two blues? Yeah, you're li linking they're not the same up. Rug, so that's yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, and you're now linking up all of your yellows. Certainly, this area down here. Very good. Very good. Okay. Over to chat. In which direction do you wish to face? Oh, Lost Oars uh, handing over control to Baron. So come on, Baron, which direction do you want to face? Roll it. Okay, he's going straight on. And it's two. One, two. Okay, there you go. Where would you like to place your rug? Yellow and red, so covering these two just there. All right, excellent. Uh, I'm just going to go straight on. Let's see what we get. Four. I'm glad I did. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to place mine over that blue and yellow. Like so. Can we cover your own ones? Uh, yes, you can. Yes. I mean, obviously, for no, one se would. for one section, you wouldn't gain anything, but maybe just the placement allowed you to cover one of an opponent's piece. So you can do if you want. Um, okay. Orgy, which direction do you want to face? Uh, damn it. Uh, up. You're going to go up. Okay. So looking up, rolling the die. Two. One, two. Oh, Orgy, Orgy, Orgy. Oh. One, two... Yeah, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. Ten pieces of gold for me. Okay. Where would you like to place your rug? Uh, on top of some of those last threads. <laughs> um, I mean, so you have the square right of me yes and then the one down there. so i i think you mean that waiting for yeah yeah yes yeah uh, uh, that, that's where i'd place it uh okay so if you're happy with that then chat so chat lost or is saying left okay turning to left Rolling the die. Going two. One, two. Done. Where would you like your rug placed? Red and empty. Yes. Good, good, good. 
There it goes. Uh, I'm going to go straight on. Let's chance it. Let's see what we get. Three. One, two, three. I am going to place... I'm going to place it over the top just there. Done. Augie. We're getting close to the end of the game now. Uh, up. Facing up. Rolling the die. It's a three. One, two, three. Okay. Where would you like your rug? To my right. Yeah, yeah. Across those two individual blues. Nice one. Okay. Over to chat. Left says Baron. Okay. Left it is. Rolling the die. Three. That's one, two, three. Well, it could it could have been worse. <laughs> so you lose one coin to me. Where do you want your rug to go? In front and down on the two yellows, yes. No! Good call. Breaks up a... Uh, Orgy's a... Uh, huge amount of area there. Okay. It's... My go. What do I want to do? See, it's, 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 a, it's a minefield now, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> breaking the yellow empire. <laughs> I am going to... I'm going to chance it. I'm going to go straight on. Let's see what we get. Four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> hey. Uh... I will place a rug like so. Okay. Augie. Down. Down, okay. Rolling a die. You get three. One, two, three. Where would you like your rug? Uh, to the left, covering the red and the empty space. Thank yep. you. Yep, yep, nice. That's a good call. Okay, chat. What direction do you want Assam to look in? To the right. Okay. There we go. Rolling the die. Four. One, two, three. Ooh, four. One, two, three, four, five. It's six coins to Augie. Okay. You get to put down one of your rugs. So, where would you like to uh, place it? There's some uh, some good opportunities here. Uh, 
ました。Down. Yellow down. So, yellow, yellow. Yes, putting those across there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right, where do I want to go? Oh. I'm going to go straight on. Four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to place a rug like so. This is the penultimate round. I have one rug left. So you've got this round, and then you've got the next round, and that'll be it. So, Augie, what direction? you want to face? Oh. Up. You're going to face upwards. Okay. Facing up. Rolling the die. You go two. One, two. Where would you like to place your rug? Under me. Oh, underneath. Okay. Across my two reds. Done. Chat. Which direction? Just roll it, says the Baron. Okay. Roll the die. Going two. One, two. Where would you like your rug? Right behind. So, are you saying vertically behind you, or are you saying facing towards the right and behind? Going down, okay. So, a literal right behind. Okay. I am going to chance it, and I'm going to go straight on. Let's see what happens. Two. One, two. So lucky. Oh. So lucky. Uh, we'll place my last rug just there. Augie, what direction do you want to go in? Um, left. Going to the left. Left and pre. <laughs> yes, okay, let's see. Three. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Okay, where are you putting your final rug? Uh, red and blue. Yeah. Done. Okay, chat your very final move. What direction do you want to go in? Up, says Lost Door. Okay, turning that way. Oh, let's hope this works out for you. All right, rolling the final die. Three. One, two, oh, three. Oh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven coins over to me. Right. And that is the end. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, hang on, hang on. You've got to place your rug down. Place your rug, because that does change things. Please be nice to me. Please be nice to me. Yellow ah. and red. Why so... don't you do red, red? The screw monkey. Come well, on. I guess it doesn't really matter which way. But there you go. Yellow and red. 
done. Uh, right. So we add up the coins. Uh, what have we got here? That's 10, 20, 30, 35, 35. I got 39 coins. Orgy, you've got 10. You got 20. Uh, da, da, da. That's, that's 25. Oh, hang on. 20, 25. That's 30. You got 33. And chat, you've got. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. Nice so, try, Dad. Nice try. Uh, so the chat's got 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So 30 was your total chat. Uh, Augie, I said you had 33, didn't I? 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And I was at 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. <laughs> 55. Uh, there you go, then. That was a game of Marrakesh. What do you think? Uh, see, I wanted to say something, like, from the start. But I really love this board, because it um, really looks like you're looking down at a market. Yeah. Uh, because it's, it's drawn from this perspective. Um, I really enjoyed that. And I think it's ingenious how they um, try to take the the, tur the tipsy turny thing right. and made it part of the design. Yes. Um, I think that's very well done. Yeah, I, I like that. And as you said, it's an old game. It's an, an old mechanism, uh, but it works. And it's proven once more that it works because it was fun. And chat says it's it's funny, I like it, colorful, easy to play, love the game. Um, so I think it it proves that it's it's nice for all, and it can be played by kids um, and adults like it as well. So I think, yeah, it works. So if it works, don't change it. Uh, well, um, I, I, exactly. Yes, it, as we say, it stood the test of time. People are still enjoying it. It is very, very simple to learn and play, uh, which then is part of its appeal, isn't it? Because sometimes, yeah. yes, you, you do want big, complicated games to really, you know, get your teeth in to, but other times you just want to be able to put a game out and play it straight away and have, we've had, you know, just over an hour, well, I mean, it's probably about 40 minutes worth of play, isn't it? And everybody's had a good fun and... Uh, you know, it, it was kind of close. You could see how the game was um, uh, ebbing back and forth as far as people were taking dominance on, on the board. Um, so, you know. Lost or is right. It's a, it's a game that can be made out of scrap pieces of paper if you want to. Um, of course, this is a visually pleasing design, so it's worth, like, buying Absolutely. This, you know, yes. Just because it's for for the style and you get all the rugs and it's nice to play with like your own color rugs and they have a design and I think it's also it's something different because normally you play with pawns or maybe you have cards but this is you can actually stack it all on on itself and it's nice I think yes. it's nice for young and old there's a, there's a very uh, tactile feeling to this because I say these are proper felt uh, rugs, it does. It, it's a nice uh, design. I'm like, it, it could have been pieces of card, but they've gone that extra mile. They've made it an actual material, and so it really feels as if you are there in this uh, Marrakesh Bazaar. My only little criticism, uh, and I'm, I, I will sort of draw a little bit of attention to it, is the box size. Uh, 
for what is a relatively small game, because you can see how it fits into the center there, it's just a shame it's, a, it's, a, it's such a big box. Right? I'm getting to the point, um, Baron uh, did make a point saying, gosh, Monkey, you must have a house full of board games. Yes, I do. And so space is a premium. And it's just a little bit of a shame that uh, they've gone for a really big box when actually it, it could have fit in a slightly smaller one, which allows me to then have another no. game. So, Monkey, what's the box uh, up at the right of the board? The, again, well, this is it. This so this little box that it's nice, but it's it's been made and that. But literally, all it does is it contains the rugs. That's oh, it. Oh, it could contain the rugs and the uh, and the coins. Uh, the coins go into the little coin bag that's uh, presented in the game as well. Which again, yeah, it, in some instances, it, it's a little bit of over over production. Um, because the coin bag's not really needed. Once you have the coins set out, you never go back to that bag. So, you know, a smaller box would have been preferred. You know, me personally, you know, others may or may not uh, share my sort of viewpoint on that. Also something more travel um, friendly. Because yes. with the big box, and, and this, this game could be played in travel. Um, you have small pieces, but... You can keep them all in check, in my opinion. Um, this, this, yeah, this would be the type of game that if you were with a family, you could quite happily take, maybe if you were staying in a hotel or a lodge somewhere, you'd want to take something like this, which is quick and easy. Everybody can, can look, knows how to play it. doesn't take up a huge amount of room. The downside is you wouldn't take that big box, right? But if it was in yeah, a smaller would, box, would, you'd pack it away. I would totally take it on, on a camp trip, but... Um... Yeah, I think maybe as a family you would find your own way of packing it. Sure, yeah, uh, I, th I've I think people would, yes. As well. um, like, skip the big box and take everything we need and put it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, that's um, true. But yeah, it's, it's of course, it's a small flaw, but I can see that they wanted to really present the game and I, I've noticed it with a lot of games that Presenting it on the shelf in the shop is a big thing. Absolutely, so, yes. Um, the visual art on the box, if you could please show it again. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. The art is amazing. And yes. It's well drawn. It's something attractive. It would attract kids, but it also it just attracts my eye to the box. Um, and it's only when you really, really analyze it, like we do, that you see like, oh, this could have been packed smaller. Um and well, Absolutely the rules right. are clear. I hope the rules are clear for everyone, even yes. Like starters. I, I, I mean, it, the game is so easy to learn. It, there we go. Three sections on the back of the box, and you instantly know how to play. So you know, it, it's great from that aspect. And yes, you're quite right. You know, we are probably it's it's a nitpick. We are over analyzing uh, a little bit. Um, you know, but they also they also just feed the market you know there's a lot of games out there that just and as you said this game is 10 years old at least um it's 10 years old the mechanism the the type of game so you want to improve your box art sure. and because i've recently bought a game of carcassonne but it's a different style box and it looks nice and it's a special edition so I can I can see why they did the big box with with the art uh, because they have to stand out on the shelf in a yes. game shop, and it, which is very it's very competitive, isn't it? So yes, to totally understood. Again, you know, it, it doesn't sort of knock any marks off as far as I'm concerned. I think it's it's a great game. I would definitely be happy to play this again and again and share it with other people. Um, it's just one of those little things that's like, yeah, okay. I, I think we, we saw a game last week that essentially has a similar footprint, uh, but was packed in a smaller box. And that, that's kind of where, okay, I can see how these two games are just different in that regard, you know. But there we go. Right. I guess that brings us uh, to an end. So thank you uh, so much, Augie, for playing. Thank you, chat, uh, for getting involved as well. I'm glad that you all 
uh, enjoyed the game. I, that was a lot of fun. I, I really liked it. <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me. It was short but fun. Excellent. All right. Well, we'll we'll, we'll see you next time then. Thanks, Augie. Yeah. See ya. Bye, chat. Bye, monkey. Bye now. Okay then, and so our thanks to Augie and the chat for playing this evening's game of Marrakesh from Gigameek. A lot of fun, really enjoyed it. So if you do see a copy at your local game store, be sure to, uh, to pick one up. I think you'll enjoy it as well. Thank you so much for watching tonight's show. Look forward to seeing you again at another TFI Games Night. But until then, bye for now.